Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we will be doing my top 10 of my favorite book covers that I own. Let's get going. I am in a different room. I'm not in my usual book room, but this will have to be for now. <laughs> so, let's get going. So my first one, it's actually, I really like the covers of the first two for my trilogy. And that is Unravel and that is Unraveling and Unbreakable by Sarah Ella. So I love these covers and they're so 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 pretty and gorgeous. This one, I don't know if this is a thing. It could be from the Bible, but it might, reminds me of God of Eden, if there is such a thing. But yeah, it just this is so gorgeous. I love the colors, it's just so pretty. So these guys are actually from this trilogy. This is the first book. It's Unbelievish by Sarah Ella. So, I mean the, first, the cover is not that bad. It's just not really my favorite. I don't really like the color scheme on it. So I think it could be better. But I read this like so long ago. So I kind of forgot actually what that happened. Elena is used in the shadows with the blood look having half her face. She just hopes to graduate high school and see then. That is until Joshua hopes offense and changes her perspective. No one aside from her mother has ever treated her like he does. Normal. Maybe even beautiful. Because of Joshua, Elena finally begins to believe she could be loved. So, yeah, and then... Recently she goes into this otherworldly, like, there these reflections from what I remember. And these reflections are, are, are like portals. <laughs> it's been a long time, but it was so fun to read these. I kind of want to read these again. So this is actually a sequel, and and into I'm so sorry for the outside, but this is a sequel and a duology. This is the sequel. This is the sequel, Ashes of Gold by by JL. So this is really, really pretty as well. I love it. I don't know if you can see the gold foil. But it's so pretty. I have read Wings of Ebony as audiobook and I love it. So I need to read the sequel. So in the sequel, so like the sequel is just following the first book as to where it literally got picked off. So I, mean, I don't want to spoil anything by reading a summary, but I highly suggest reading Wings of Ebony. I love that book so much. My next one is Vow of Thieves by May E. Pearson. I love this color too. The red and gold can sometimes be pretty, and I like how this one is like straight in the middle. I prefer this color than the first one, which is that of Thieves, but I just love how everything stood out and all the details that goes in these patterns. I just, they're so intricate, I love them. So yeah, so this is just like a hot panic conclusion to, to the Night of Thieves duology. Cassie and Jazz have survived stronger and more in love than ever. In the new life now lies before them. The balances will be outwards no longer. Thor's watch will be a kingdom. And Cassie and Jazz you will meet all challenges side by side together at last. So, it's really really pretty. I can't even if I read this. I think I did. Otherwise, I didn't read that to Thieves. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I don't know if I actually read this, so. So my next book is actually a standalone. That is The, St the Star Daughter by Shiveta Dakra. I love this so much. I mean, look at it. It's just so pretty. I love the stars on like the celestial background. I love it, so obviously we can tell what's gonna happen, so. Even just being put in back because because the sun's going, it looks celestial, so you know, it's gonna be like, oh, she's gonna be a star or something like that. So it's so pretty. If the night sky holds many secrets, it holds Shita and Mystery Secret the closest. A secret that explains why her hair is the silver of starlight or why some nights the stars call Shita by name. Stars like her mother who returned to her place in a constellation Persia years ago. Since that day, Shito has been forced to hide. But as the 17th birthday draws near, the pull from the sky is growing and stronger. So strong that Shito loses control and a flea of starfire burns a human father, an injury only a full star's blood can heal. I, from what I remember, there was also like a tournament in here, so she, she has to compete in the tournament to get the spot of something. It's been a long time, but yeah, I remember I watched more of the tournament because it was actually like way at the big, 
that Emily at the end, which kind of sucks, but it really sounds so cool though. So my next book is also a duology, and that is Donna of the Moon Goddess and Heart of the Sun Warrior by Su Lin Tang. I love these. I really did feel like 2022 was like the year of the book covers. I really did. So this is so stunning, um, but I love the patterns of it. Uh, I think it's a watercolor, like the way how it's painted on here. I can't be too sure, but it really looks like watercolor almost. So I just love it. So basically we're for Yingxun, who is the daughter of the Moon Goddess, and she was going on a quest to save her mother from this, like, this celestial trap prison because her mom is actually trapped in her own kingdom. So that's why Zeng Ying is going on a quest to try to free her mother. So without giving too much spoils, we are following off where the last book picked off if I can remember correctly because she's once again going on another quest but for a different reason she recently learned something some kind of news that's supposed to be buried in the past but from there she's going to on a quest and she finds out more than what she bargains for so this was okay I kind of preferred this one over this one but it was alright I just love the cover so much and my next book is also a duology, and that is A Magic Steep and Poison and A Dark and Venom Dark. A Venom Dark and Sweet, oh my gosh, by Julie Island. I love these so much. It's so pretty. I love the designs. And so, so, so pretty. I love it. So, this is the first book in a duology. It's, a, it's like team magic competition and fighting dark secrets in the kingdom, the usual kind. But I love the magic system in here, like the team magic was amazing. It really does remind me of, of Uncle Idol from Avatar The Last Ember. Like, that was a, such an amazing show, I loved it so much. But basically, for Ning, the only thing worse than losing her mother is knowing that it's her own fault. She was the one unknowingly blew the poison tea that killed her mother. The poison tea that now threatens to also take her sister, Shu. When Ning hears of a competition to find the kingdom's greatest Shinnan Shi, masters of the ancient and magical art of tea making, she travels to the imperial city to compete. The winner will receive a favor from the prince, princess, which may be Ning's only chance to save her sister's life. So, it was a really fun read, but yeah, and then. On the same call, um, the banished prince has returned to seize power, his rise to, to the dragon throne, aided by the mass poisonings that have kept the people bound in fear and distrust. Ning, a young but powerful Shinong, she, a wield of magic using the ancient and delicate of tea, art of tea making, has escorted Princess, Princess Zhen into exile. Joining them is the prince's loyal bodyguard, Mui and Ning's newly healed system, Shu. Together, the four young women traveled throughout the kingdom in search of allies to help out in Venus and take back Zen's rightful throne. I think this book kind of fell flat for me. It did not have such a promising, but it just kind of fell flat. I think I gave it a three stars from what I can remember, but we almost match. And my final book is recently I have read for January. It's The Scarlet Alchemist by Kylie Lee Baker. I love this. This is so stunning. And like, I love the throne details. And I love her dress as well. I, it's so, so pretty. I love the details. And like, you can clean, you can see like all the sharpness into it. So you know you're gonna have a sharp character. <laughs> like, she's just so bold and fierce. And like, yeah, look at me. I'm gonna own the world. So it was, it was just a really fun read. I really, really enjoyed this book. So, Zoe dreams of becoming a world like alchemist for providing her family by making an alchemical, alchemical gold and gems for the wealthy to eat in order to stay young forever. But for now, she's trapped in her impoverished village in southern China, practicing an illegal form of alchemy to keep food on the table, the security they did for a price. When Zan finally has the chance to complete her Imperial exam, she ventures into the capital to compete against the best alchemist in the country in tasks she won't be lucky to survive. 
uh, let alone pass. On top of that, her reputation for raising the dead has followed her, and the Crown Prince himself seeks out her help, suspecting a coming assassination attempt. So, in some so I'm glad I really, really enjoy this. Okay, so those are all the books, not all the pretty books I own. I, these are just my favorite books cover that I really, really like. But let me know what, what your favorite book cover is and if you have any favorites. So, and please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!